I travel, I, I like to speak to the elderly people of, of the tribes because, you know, they have the stories, you know, they, they love to talk about the tradition and, and the culture of the Native American stories, whether it be drum songs, flute songs, or, you know, ceremonial songs and things like that. They, they love to just give information. And it's always good because, you know, we remember those and then we pass it on to the next generation and, and you know, it continues to go on and go on. But um, I was talking to this gentleman about this uh, old Ojibwe story and uh, he had told me that there was an old story about the moon and how the moon fell in love with itself and it's like a story of vanity. The moon had always been up in the sky all by itself and it was very lonely and it was looking for its, its significant other and so when the moon would come over the Great Lakes during the clear night and the water was glassy and, and nice and clear the moon would see its reflection but it thought it was another moon that was there for it. And so the moon has powers and how the moon would make the waters and the tides change and rise and, and lower and, and shimmy and ripple. And those are the moon's songs. And so the moon has all this power that it, it sends its vibrations back to the earth and, and it can do really amazing things. And it only happens during the time of the full moon. And so the moon has songs. The moon has songs that it would sing to this supposedly other moon that it thought it saw but it was actually was just looking at itself and looking at its reflection in the great lakes and the water and and so to this day you could be out on the lake or you could be in the near, in the ocean or near the ocean and you can hear those songs the moon songs that would be be echoing through the night or you can you can hear it you know through the water and, and you hear the echoes through the valleys and through the rivers and through the through the, through the lakes and everything like that and so the moon will continue to do this and it will always be up there all by itself but little does the moon know that it shares its songs and its powers with us here on this earth and so you know this this gentleman was talking about this story and and it stuck with me and i i decided i wanted to compose a song around it and so i, I came up with this little piece called the moon in the water and so i want to play with play this for you on this uh, bass flute 